Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores here to talk about circuit overloading and electrical safety. Here we are in the shop, a little test stand set up with two heaters. I want to show you some little quick basics on electricity and what goes wrong around the house, especially when we have space heaters in the wintertime or too many window air conditioners in the summertime. Both those appliances draw an excessive amount of electricity very quickly. Volts, 120 volts around the house, times amps, this one little electric heater here is 8 amps and it equals 9600 watts. So now available in my house I got 15 amp circuit breakers or 15 amp fuses. So 120 volts times 15 amps gives me 1800 watts. And I just want to show what can go wrong when you're plugging stuff in you don't realize that even though you're in two rooms those two rooms could be on the same circuit and if they are that circuit it only has 1800 watts available. We set up our kilowatt meter here and we turn on a heater trying to keep that back bedroom warm and here's my amps 6.4 amps we can go to watts real quick just to show you that's 771 watts but I'm really gonna interested in the amperage because I have 15 amp wiring feeding my rooms my house I have 15 amp breakers I would like to add amps and this little formula here, very basic, is to allow you, if your heater only tells you how many watts it is, you can divide it by your voltage, which is about 120 volts, to come up with how many amps, so you can make sure you don't add up more appliances than your circuit can stand. And we're also going to show a little product safety, because a lot of these power strips have breakers in them that are supposed to trip at 15 amps, or 1800 watts. I'm going to bring another heater online here. Bam. So this tool is beeping because we're over 15 amps. We're in my shop. I have a 20 amp circuit. But notice our little uh, power strip did not trip the breaker. Here are my two appliances are over my 15 amps. My house wiring in the wall could be getting warm. So we just showed how when we had two heaters online we could generate up to 20 amps worth of load. Your house wiring is rated, typically all your rooms except for a kitchen and a laundry room, is rated for 15 amps. That's why there's 15 amp circuit breakers. So the power goes over 15 amps, it shuts off, you unplug one of your appliances, you turn it back on, it's all good. This is saving your life. That's why we don't like people putting in fuses larger than 15 amps in a circuit in the house unless it is a designated circuit like a kitchen or a laundry. Other than that, all these older homes are all wired for 15 amps. The breakers to protect you and you just have to know that everything adds. You just can't keep plugging things in. Be aware, you overload a circuit, the wires in the wall can get warm. So as you overload a circuit, the electricity, excess electricity traveling through a wire gets the wire heated up. It gets heated up, you get hot, it can start a fire, it's going to start a fire in the wall, somewhere where you don't know. Sometimes it takes and melts the plugs, where your plug plugs in to the receptacle. You'll see plugs getting burned and ends getting charred. These are all signs that you're overloading a circuit. Be aware that you can only have typically one large appliance, one hair dryer through the circuit at a time. If you overload it and you trip the breaker, just be aware that you've got too many appliances on that circuit. Quick safety tip from MrHardware.com.